Hi there. My name is Kim Thor, and I'm the Chief Marketing Officer with the United Way of Forsyth County. I'm very, very excited to be with you today because I get to read one of my favorite books. We are celebrating the legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King, and this week we are doing virtual storytelling. And I get to read to you by permission of Scholastic, If Kids Ran the World by Leo and Diane Dillon. So sit back, get comfortable, and let's find out what this world would look like if you were running it. Okay, so let's get started. If Kids Ran the World. If kids ran the world, we would make it a kinder, better place. Maybe we'd run the world in a big tree house and everybody would be welcome. We take care of the most important things. We know people are hungry, so all over the world, everyone would have enough to eat. The food would taste delicious and it would make people healthy and strong. Kids who had extra food would help bring it to people who needed it. Everyone would have a safe place to live. Bad housing would be fixed and new housing wouldn't ruin the land or the sea. No matter how sick people were, they would have the medicine they needed. If you were lonely in a hospital, kids would come visit and let you play with pets. Somebody friendly would help you with a very big smile. Everyone would laugh a lot more. Kids would have more picnics and games and funny books and movies. People would spend more time playing and a lot less time worrying. No bullying would be allowed. You could climb trees or dress up and dance and sing just for fun. Kids could act very silly. All children would go to good schools where every teacher was nice and had lots of books, music, and art. Classes would be exciting and fun. Schools would serve yummy meals and have great sports and big playgrounds. Kids would love school. People could wear any kind of clothes and no one would tease them. Children would all live with people who loved them. More forests would be planted and protected. All the beaches, pools, and parks would belong to everyone. There would be no clubs or places that kept some people out. Friendship, kindness, and generosity would be worth more than money. People would take care of the planet and animals and plants. Nobody would throw trash on the ground or in the ocean or make the air dirty. People would have religious freedom and nobody would punish them or call them names. Everyone would learn the happiness of being thankful. Even if they were busy, people would remember to stop to see the beauty of a sunset or a rainbow. All over the world, people would feel safe with one another. People would live in peace together. No more hate. Everybody would learn 
how to forgive. If kids ran the world, would these things be possible? Yes, we think so. Because kids know that everyone can learn to share. Kids know how to try to do their very best. And kids know that the most important thing in the world isn't money or being king or being queen or pushing other people around. It's love. Giving it, sharing it, and showing it. And that's why if kids ran the world, we'd make it a wonderful place for everyone to live. And that's for grown-ups too. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed my book, If Kids Ran the World. Thank you to Scholastic for allowing us to present this book. And I hope you have a great day and Tell me what your favorite book is the next time we see each other. Take care. Bye-bye.